This is a beginner Blender Python tutorial where we'll be importing images into the scene with a Python script. Hey, I'm Victor Stepanoff. I'll be guiding you through this beginner Blender Python tutorial. Today, we're going to be using an add-on called Import Images as Planes in a Python script to import images into the scene. Let's get started. The very first thing that we need to do is set up our workspace. I have Blender open here and I'm going to navigate to the scripting workspace and open it. I'm going to hit new here and now we're ready to start writing our script. Before we start writing the code, we need to think through the steps that we need to take to import an image into the scene using the import images as planes add-on. The very first thing that comes to mind is that we need to somehow enable the add-on through the Python code. Next, we need to define something that represents the path to the image that we want to import. And finally, we would run the command that image that selected image into this scene. I'm going to write down the steps that I want to take as comments in this Python script. And here are the steps. And remember the uh, hash character in front of all these lines means it's a comment. Uh, you can write anything you want after this hash character. Python will ignore this line and this way you can document what you're doing in the code. First, we need to import some functionality and extend Python. In particular, we'll be working with some file paths. We will need an extension for Python to work with files. We'll need to give Python access to Blender's functionality. Also, we'll need to be able to access add-ons that Blender has. After we're done importing that functionality, we're going to first start off the script with deleting everything from the scene. Usually we do this if you watch my other tutorials by hitting AX and then delete in the while hovering over the 3D viewport. And today I decided that we should just start writing some code. This code is not going to clear everything in the scene, but it'll work for our case. Well, next we'll need to keep track uh, of the name of the add-on that we want to enable. We'll need to check if the add-on is already enabled and enable the add-on itself. Next, we need to define a path to the image that we want to import into the scene and finally run the command that imports the image in the scene. Let's start filling this out. I'll be adding these imports as we go through the script. And for example, the working with path functionality we'll need down here. So I'm going to skip that import for now. The very first thing that we want to do is we want to clear the scene by deleting all the objects from the scene. And for that, we'll need to import the DPY module like so. And we'll need to get two commands that are going to select everything in the scene and then delete all the objects that are selected. The very first thing that we need to do is we need to select everything in the scene. And this is the command that we're going to be using to do that. It has one parameter and it's a parameter that is an action and you can toggle the selection, just select everything, deselect everything and invert the current selection we'll be using the selection action and we're just going to copy this right into our script. You can find a link to this command in the description down below. The code is going to look like this. Uh, notice that only the cube is currently selected. Let's run, go ahead and run the script and that's going to select the camera and the light as well. So I'm going to run the script right here and you can see that the camera and the light are selected now. Now let's find the command that deletes the selected objects. To uh, delete the selected objects, we're going to be using this uh, particular command. We won't be using any of the parameters provided, so they're going to be set to default. So we're just going to copy this into our script. And again, the link to this command is going to be in the description. The code is going to look like this. And now let's go ahead and run our script and it's going to remove everything from the scene. All right. Now every the, now the scene is clean. Uh, I want to underline that this is not enough to really clean the scene. For example, if your script is at creating collections or materials, this will not remove the data that is created by your script. So I have some special code that really cleans the scene. Uh, it's a, definitely a topic for another video. Next, we need to create a variable that represents the name of the add-on that we'll be enabling. In particular, we care about the import images as planes add-on. Let's go into the add-on selection preferences. So in edit preferences, we're going to hit add-ons and then search for image and 
Here we go. This is the add-on that we want. So import images as planes. And in particular, this right here uh, is the name of the add-on that we want. So it's not, not this human readable thing. It's this IO import images as planes.py. And in particular, we don't care about the .py part. We just want uh, everything that is right here. Here is the variable, uh, and that is uh, the name uh, represented as a piece of text. And now we need to first check if the add-on is enabled, right? We don't want to continue to to enable and waste time on an add-on that's already enabled. And we're just gonna first check if the add-on is enabled and then enable it. Here is the function that we'll be using to check if an add-on is enabled. Unfortunately, I don't believe there is some online documentation on this. I just know that uh, in the Blender install folder under scripts modules and in the add-on utils Python file or module, uh, there's going to be a function called check and it returns the loaded state of an add-on and it will be returning the loaded default and the loaded state in particular the first return value is if this add-on is enabled in the preferences and this is the loaded state meaning that is it loaded or not and we'll be uh we'll be checking for this in particular let's go back into our script and let's import that add-ons utils module that we were just looking into. So here is the import, and now we're gonna be checking if our add-on is enabled or not. And here's the code. So we're using the check function that we were just looking into, that's part of the add-ons utils, and we're using the name that we provided right here, and it's returning two values. One is if it's enabled in the preferences, and another one is if uh, it's loaded or not. And we're gonna be checking this in an if statement right here. The loaded state will be false if it's not loaded. So I'm checking if this is not. So when something is false and we apply not, it means it's true. And uh, that means that we're gonna execute the body of this if statement and we wanna enable this add-on. And to enable an add-on, we can just scroll a bit uh, below that check uh, function and here is the enable uh, module uh, enable function that we're going to be using to enable that add-on so we're going to be just passing in the add-on name and that should be enough and I'm going to move the comment here and this is going to be the code so again we're accessing that add-ons utils and getting that function that we just looked at passing in the name of the add-on that we selected and at this point in the script uh, if the add-on was not enabled, we will enable it. And we're almost ready to start importing the image. Now we are ready to start working with the file paths. And in particular, we'll need to define a path to the image that we're gonna be importing into our scene. We'll need to go up to the very top of our script and finally import that module that will help Python work with file paths. That module is called pathlib and in particular, uh, again, modules are like Blender add-ons, but uh, for Python, right, they're extending Python's functionality. Some functionality doesn't exist in Python, and we have special modules to extend it, right? The same idea. Okay, so now let's define the path to our image. And if we take a look into the documentation of the pathlib module, there's a home method here that represents the user's home directory. And we're gonna be using that on Linux, Windows, and Mac. So it's gonna be the same folder. In the home folder, we're gonna create a temp folder. And in that temp folder, we're gonna have our image that we're importing. Of course, you can use any path you want. This is just something that we can quickly use across all operating systems. And here is how the path is gonna look. So we're creating a new variable and using uh, that home method that we just looked at. And we're just building a path. So temp in the home folder, the temp folder, there's gonna be a, a my image PNG, right? And uh, of course this could be any image you want. I'm just using this as an example. And let's actually print out this image path so you can see where it is. So I'm just printing out the image path and comma and then using the variable and to print that out. Uh, and now you can just run this script and uh, open up the console window or, or the system terminal. 
uh, to see the output. Under Windows, you can go under Window, uh, Toggle System Console, and this is what I have, right? Uh, that's my username. Uh, this is under Windows. You're going to have something like this on Windows. On Mac and Linux, uh, this is going to be your home folder. And again, you will need to follow some extra steps to get this system terminal on Mac and Linux. I have a separate video for each of those operating systems, so go ahead and check that out to see how you can get this output. It's very helpful for developing Python in Blender. And since now we have that, we are ready to import the image. And before we actually import the image, we want to check if this file actually exists because importing a non-existing file is going to cause an error and we don't want errors, right? So let's do that. And since the image uh, path right here is a special object, we can call exists on it that will check for us if this path that we created right here actually exists on disk. And if it does, uh, we can execute the command that imports image itself. To get the import image as planes command, I'm just going to do this by hand and copy the command from the info panel down below. So I'm going to go hover over the 3D viewport, hit shift A, and then go under image, and then image as planes. This will present me a file dialog where I'll just select the, the image that I want to import. And here is the file that I want to use and to import into my scene. Again, you can use this home folder right here, this uh, on the left, and this will send you to your home folder. And in that folder, I have my temp folder. So I'm just gonna select this and uh, hit the import image as plane right here. And as soon as that's done, I have this plane in my scene and I'm gonna hit Z and then select material preview to see the, uh, image itself. So here it is loaded and this is what we want. And in the info panel down below, we can copy the command that imports this image. So uh, this is right here. So it's BPY ops import image into plane. I'm going to copy this and paste it in right into the body of this if statement. And uh, I'm just going to remove these parts right here that uh, actually I'm just going to remove the rest right here so all those other arguments and instead of this name uh, i can use image path and actually since the image path is an object and blender right here is expecting a, p a piece of text right i need to convert that object into a string so a piece of text so i'm going to wrap it in a string uh conversion right here and that at that point we should have our script ready uh, to import an image. Let's, um, let me just move this. I'm gonna hit G on my keyboard, move it away. And as soon as I run the script, it's gonna uh, delete this. Remember, we're deleting everything from the scene and it's gonna import that image again. So let's do that. Okay, here is that image, right? Again, if I comment this out, I can select this and then uh, hit a forward slash. It's gonna add some comments for me and I, I'm not gonna delete it. I'm gonna just run the script again. Nothing's appearing, right? So this is exactly the code just to kind of prove it to you that this is importing and run that script again. Here is that image. All right, and if you're learning something new or just enjoying this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button on this video so I can understand to make more videos like this. And for the final touch in this tutorial, I'm gonna convert this wall of code into separate functions so we can use them in our other scripts. And the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define the main function. I'm gonna select all this, hit tab and to indent, and then define a main function like so. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to delete everything from the scene. If I run it, nothing's going to happen because we're just defining a function, right? Uh, and I can now go down here and actually call this function, right? This is just a definition and this is actually calling and executing the code inside of it. Uh, so let's run it. And now our script continues to run as it did before. Next, let's extract the deleting part of our uh, the cleaning up of our scene. I'm gonna call this function partially clean the scene, right? Uh, because remember, it won't clean everything in the scene. I just wanna highlight that. Here, I'm just adding this documentation string. And what I'm doing here is allowing, giving Python some information that, hey, you should probably show this to the person who's gonna be 
uh, looking at the documentation. What do I mean by this? Uh, for example, if we import, let's say, import these add-on utils in the interactive Python console, and we can see some documentation. Uh, and you can see, right, this is what gets printed. If you remember, this is all defined in the add-ons utils file we were looking at the beginning of this tutorial, right? So you can create your own, right? Uh, your own documentation string like so. So let me just copy the definition right here. And now if I just use this in the interactive Python console, hit tab to get the documentation and boom, look at that. This is exactly that text. So now you kind of know where that text is coming from. You can create it on your own. Now, since we move this into a function, we uh, need to call it right don't forget that uh, this is uh, probably I'm just gonna keep like so I don't want to extract it, this into a function but we can extract this right here I'm gonna cut this out and create a new function right here and I'm gonna call it enable add-on passing in the add-on name that we're gonna use right here and right here now let's not forget to call this uh, where we extracted that code from so uh, now we can uh, just look at this and, and say, okay, yeah, this is some function that has some functionality inside that's going to enable the add-on. Uh, and next, let's extract this. Let's extract this right here. Uh, this I'm just going to leave this as is, so just defining a path like so. So it's uh, I'm defining the name to be import image as plain, and then adding the image path. Uh, and let's update this comments right here and let's call new function using that path like so all right let's double check that this still works i'm going to move this right here to make sure that uh, there is no error and we're going to create a new image plane right here in the middle of the scene. So let's run the script and all right, that looks like the code is still working. Now you can see that our code is neatly organized into functions that we can copy around into other scripts that we will be working on, right? Uh, this is the main function right here. You can clearly start reading through it as, oh, these are the steps that are going on here you don't have to focus in all all this code right here you can kind of just say okay this is the high level picture of what's going on and then maybe dive deeper into one of these functions to maybe fix an issue or add some new functionality that's kind of the main point of using functions all right i hope you learned something new today and you enjoyed this tutorial for more tutorials like this make sure to subscribe and thank you so much for watching